Let's get started by going to Resource Groups and creating a new resource group. Select your subscription and then enter a unique resource name. Select your preferred region, then click Next to go to the text. We are just going to skip ahead and go to Review and Create. Click on the Create button to create the resource group and then navigate to the resource. Click on Create and type Web App to find and create a Web App resource. Select the resource template from the Marketplace. Select Create the Start Templates Wizard process. Make sure your project's resource group is selected and shown. Enter a unique and valid name for our new web app. This unique name will be how we access our web app on the internet. For this particular project, we are going to be deploying with code. And our code uses Python, so select the latest runtime stack of Python. Select your preferred region for where the web app should reside. By default, it will create a new app service plan for you but you're welcome to use an existing one. Let's change the skew and size of our web app. Select the Dev Test category and then the free tier. Next, click on the Deployment button and make sure everything is disabled as we're going to set up the deployment settings later. Under Monitoring, let's leave Application Insights disabled. Next, I'm going to skip the creation of tags and just speed forward to Review and Create. Carefully review all your web app settings before clicking on the Create button. Just a reminder, we're going to set up continuous deployment after we create the web app. Let's create it now. It may take some time to create the resource, but click on Go to Resource after it's done. Here is our very own web app summary display. The URL has the name of our web app and a link to access our resource. It may take a few minutes before your resource is available. You will then see a default screen for your Python web app. The next step is to go to the deployment center for your Azure web app. At the deployment center, we will set up continuous integration from our code that lives in a GitHub repository. Go ahead and navigate to your GitHub web repo. You may fork or clone this demo to your own account. The requirements and application entry should be in the root of your Python application to integrate with the default and auto-generated Azure pipeline that we will discuss next. In the Deployment Center, select GitHub as a source. You may have to authenticate with GitHub, but after you do so, select your organization, repository, and branch for the deployment setup. We are going to preview the pipeline file, which is in YAML format. Yuck, another markup language. Just kidding. YAML is yet another markup language. This pipeline file instructs Azure how to build and deploy our Python web app. We will work with the default generated template for the remainder of this demo. Go ahead and click Close, and then, very importantly, click on Save to save our deployment settings. This process may take some time to complete, but also know it will run the deployment process after you click Save. Let's take a look at the logs and see what's going on. I am now redirected to my GitHub repository. This shows me a graphical outline of my pipeline process with both build and deploy sections. Here is an outline of the build process. And here is an outline of the deploy process. After it is complete, it'll publish the uh, URL for the web app in the log, or you can go to the overview and access your URL from there. Voila! We have published our Python Flask application as an Azure web app. Congratulations! Don't forget, after you're done playing, go ahead and stop your resource and delete your resource group.